Well, hello again. Let's go on with this game. We are about to get the Colosseum, seven turns left. I really, really hope I don't lose it. It would be a huge blow to my um, to my game if I lost this. Um, so let's see what else is happening here. We need another seven points to not go straight into a dark age after in the next, uh, sorry, after 14 turns from now. And I really don't want to get into a dark age when I'm about to conquer Japan. So I couldn't conquer Japan during my uh, my heroic age. I have another 14 turns, of course, but I'm not going to get here um, that quickly. I think my units are still very slow. This is just medieval roads. They have crossbows, which I don't have, so that's another problem. It's gonna take me a while to take down my first real enemy. Here you have, what do you have? What am I going to conquer here? Commercial hub, oh, a holy site, really? I don't need that. This is not a holy site? Jeez, what are you doing, Japan, with all these holy sites? Commercial hub, commercial hub. Okay, I can get a few commercial hubs there. Finally, a campus. I really need a campus. This is next to the mountain, so that's good. And another holy site, jeez. So I want to get the hanging gardens, sure, why not? What is this? Is this theater square? I could very much use a theater square. So I don't care about this city here. It's uh, very well defended. You have mountains on this side and then a river here. So very tough to take. Um, I'm just going to completely ignore it and go for these three here. Those are the good ones. And... Um, what is, what is the Hanging Gardens going to give me if I conquer that? Hanging Gardens. Increase growth by 15% in all cities. Okay, yeah, fine. It's not awesome really, but it's a nice thing to conquer a wonder. Anyway, uh, we need another 7 points here. We are going to get 4 from the Colosseum. So we only need another 3. If we finish the trade roll with Valletta, that's a trading post. That's 1 point at least. And I'm not exactly sure where am I going to get the other two. I know there are a couple of guys I haven't met, so that's an option for sure. I have already built my impis. And we're going for exploration as usual. Okay. That's fine, we are approaching, you know, slowly approaching the Japanese. We want to get crossbows of our own. And then we want to go to <coughs> nationalism probably to have armies. Trajan declare war on Gilgamesh. This guy is at war with the a lot of people, I think. Yeah, this guy is at war with... Oh no, only with Trajan. Okay, so the war with Alexander is over. Alexander is at war with someone else. Japan is not at war with anyone, but he doesn't like a lot of people, so that's fine. Um, did, did Gilgamesh lose a city to this guy? I guy maybe? I think so. Seven cities here. I have uh, nine already. So it looks like I'm leading in... Yeah, he has four only. So he definitely lost one. I think I guy was his. And then this guy here. Oh. Whoa, whoa. Oh, he took a city from Japan. Well, that's interesting. How do you do? This is also not Roman. This is a thing from Sumeria. Abu Salabi. So he, Arabia is in the game, I guess. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, plus the capital. That's 13 cities this guy has. Okay. <laughs> That's gonna be interesting, going up against Rome eventually. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Okay, we need a bunch of gold to upgrade these guys, which I totally want to upgrade before they move, because, I mean, we need to do that, really. Uh, there is no point in using warriors at this point in the game. Okay, so we're getting that, right? No! 
Not this one, you idiot. Get me this one. Ah, oh, god damn it. Come on. Okay, wait. This is a heal as well. Oh, it's a heal as well. Okay. So that's fine. Let's go back. Go here. Okay. That's fine. I, I just need the heal, you know. Any heal is fine, really. I'm not declaring war on this guy yet. I don't want the warmonger penalty to be too big. He still doesn't have cores, as far as I can see. <coughs> so yeah, I'm getting cores before everybody else, but unfortunately Japan is just too far away. Citrus, some gold for whales and olives. That's not too much, but I'm going to be in a point now where I'm going to need the happiness. Just for a little while. Actually, it's just for a little while until I get the Colosseum. That's then I'm not going to need the citrus anymore. So let me get more money here, otherwise I'm not going to accept this. Yeah, no. Let's not do that. Mm. Four gold per turn is quite a lot. Okay, we're going to be paying this for now. Just don't want any funny things going on. Rome has pillage and enemy campus. Well, that makes sense. We can get a very nice harbor here. Yeah, that's another plus four. So, pretty cool, if you ask me. I would really like to get a super cool district of another kind. <coughs> Sorry. In order to get more era points. Repair the granary, sure. Let's repair all of the stuff that I broke during the war. not a lot what they have there okay that's fine this is fine this guy's coming here okay I think I'm getting uh, this mine and then the whales probably okay <laughs> this guy really needed the production for sure. We're gonna get the whales, we're going to grow into that eventually, that's fine. How much money to upgrade the warriors here? Okay, not right now. Okay, good, so Laventa was in desperate need of some production. Do we want to lock more food? Mm -hmm. We can grow in four, so I'm going to say yes. I'm going to grow in four. We're growing into that, so we can build yet another mine. So first of all I want to kill these crossbows very quickly. Then I will go for everything else. Oh 165, that's quite expensive. Anyway. Let's go stable. I am going to need that very soon. Let's go lighthouse here for the trade route. I think that makes sense. This guy needs to upgrade. Mm -hmm. Okay, just wait. Just wait. Okay, and then two guys to attack here. Yeah, that makes sense. Wait. Wait. And this fellow will come back, obviously. And this guy will 
block the crossbow from coming back. Alright then. And so... I already have a road from La Venta to Osaka, so I don't need another one for the war. Uh -huh. What is... Okay, I can only get one foreign trade route, apart from sending another guy to Valletta, which apparently I cannot do at this point. Weird. Okay, probably this city we want to grow it a little bit, so we're going to go here. Also, we want a road from this guy into the continent. That makes a lot of sense. There seems to be quite a lot of land here, so that's interesting. I could send this guy to explore a little bit. Oh, and we have some Roman units. So how is the religion war going on? Japan is winning. Some guy here with a Sikh, Sikh um, religion. Okay, so maybe this is not Arabia. Uh, I don't know, maybe... No, India would be Hinduism. Mm -hmm. We have some Eastern Orthodox players, so could be Georgia, could be Russia. I don't know about this one. Maybe Persia, maybe Scythia, I don't know. Let's see, let's see what happens. We do want one guy attacking this crossbow for sure. So we need the money to upgrade this guy and then I think I'm going to start attacking Japan probably. Okay, we got another archer here and we are going to get another archer there. So that's going to be another archer course before machinery kicks in Trajan got Chichen Itza I don't, do not care about Chichen Itza to be honest with you <coughs> so that's fine um, Colosseum, three turns, come on you can do it I wouldn't mind getting another harbor yet but um, feels like I need more stuff here I could get this money though. It's like five gold per turn. That is quite a lot of money. I'm going to lock it. And then we really don't have any food, do we? Okay. So for now that's fine. I could build a farm here eventually, I guess. We have a farm here. That's not a terrible idea, but uh, right now we are so close to the enemy that this guy will be building units, but first the barracks, of course. Okay, so I think we can start declaring war on Japan already. Machinery is coming, so we will upgrade some guys soon. What? Oh, I don't have any iron. Yeah, I forgot about that. So we will have iron from Kyoto very soon. It's just that right now we don't have it. This guy doesn't have it. So, um... Gilgamesh. You do have it. Oh, I'm already giving you whales. Olives? Nah. Horses? Nah. Okay, so he really doesn't want to give me that. Yeah, this is not gonna work. Okay. Hmm. This is really not going to work. Okay. So, um, the iron situation is a bit annoying. I'm going to need iron for, um, for knights. There is no iron whatsoever over here. That's not gonna be great. 
So you, my friend, you could actually go all the way into Valletta and get production. But I'm thinking it could be nice to get some food as well. Like going into candy, for example, that's three production and some food and also gives candy a little bit of a road here. So I'm going to do that. I'm, I need to connect the south. There are no roads around here. Ten turns. We still need a bunch of points. <coughs> anyway. So I cannot upgrade this fella. I'm not super happy about that. I should say. Anyway, we have to declare war on this guy. Declare for more war. Okay then, this guy will attack here. Oh, that is kind of a problem. Okay. Can I attack there? Oh, th no. Okay. Interesting. To say the least. Okay, that's fine. And there is no. Let's block this guy, get in here. Get in there. Okay, it's fine. Valeta has declared war on this guy. <coughs> Doesn't look like I'm going to lose Valeta anytime soon. So that's fine. Yeah, let's go here. And wait. Nothing else I can really do. This guy has to wait. Unfortunately. So we're getting another impi here. Another archer. We are going to need more chariots, I imagine. Two turns. Okay, let's just wait in here. There is this guy here, but I think Valeta should be able to deal with him. Wait, right there. Ooh, barbarians, huh? Okay, interesting. Well, that's that's quite a lot of land for just a couple of city states. I could sell a city here and get the iron. You know what I mean? Like. Bring a settler, bring a cup, bring a builder. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I could totally sell this. Got a couple of iron resources. But then again, it will be faster to just take Kyoto. They have iron here and then eventually get this tile as well. Yeah. Yeah, I know this rumor. Okay, so this guy is happy. For now, I wouldn't mind being friends with Alexander, really. Um, how are we doing here? Not so great, not so great. Okay, claim great person. Now we're talking, finally, great general. That's another era point, actually, so that's nice. Second. Seriously? Oh man, you gotta be shitting me. Okay. Okay. Okay, we have some people coming here, so we're going to kill them. Oh, nice. One hit kill. Nice stuff. Um, okay, this guy should have killed the other guy actually, so this one could have attacked the chariot. And I didn't think that properly, so my bad. <coughs> oh, we got a trade route here, that's nice. Um, oh no, this is just some trader, okay. Stable, commercial hub. 
I'm going to go with Builder because this guy will finally be able to get those lumber mills up and running thanks to machinery. You know? So, yeah. Nice stuff. This fella, on the other hand, could get a heavy chariot going on, I think. That should work. Impies are coming. This guy will die very soon. This guy is coming because why not? And this guy is waiting until he can build a mine over there. But in Ram not doing anything this turn. This guy can't really kill the crossbow right now. And this guy is going this way. And so we got this one crossing the river. Okay. Those two are going to meet very soon. And we have this tray route here, which is going to go God knows where. Pallet, uh, okay. Oh. So, hmm. Interesting. It didn't give me a trading post for some reason. Finishing that. Okay. So that's that's a weird situation, but it's a fractal map, so I guess I guess it makes sense. This fella needs to go all the way to La Venta first. <coughs> so who's getting more production here? I mean the Col Coliseum is about to be over, so I'm not getting much from there. I could get a road from this guy here. I think that would make some sense. Let's see what is Japan going to do with all of these units. Yeah, attacking that archer makes a lot of sense actually. Okay. So let me think about Remember this. Remember that people break down. Mm -hmm. I know what I'm going to do. Or maybe not. Like this guy. Hmm. So that forest there is annoying me a little bit. Let, let them come to me. This guy can heal. This guy is coming after the crossbow. Uh huh. This guy is going there. This guy is approaching that area. This guy is coming here to heal. Uh, this guy is not priority. Let's use the general first. <coughs> so this guy, sorry. Medieval and Renaissance. Wait. I don't have any Medieval and Renaissance units. Like, I need crossbows and I need <laughs> knights. God damn it. Okay. Well, I will have crossbows soon, so let's keep that guy around. Okay. You are going to approach, you're going to approach. Alright. So I'm going to wait. Which of course will wait. This fella will come back and wait. Uh still waiting for that tile. What's going on? Seven turns now. Okay, interesting. I'm gonna get it. I don't want to lose it to Valeta really. Yeah. So that's a good tile for me. Getting my heavy chariot a bit earlier. And so this fella could go to Ole Target for gold and two production and get a very nice road. It goes all the way up from here, you know. Okay, so this is a very interesting content. I'm going to see if I can say hi to someone else. And I really need a few more points. <laughs> I don't know where am I going to get them. Because I cannot finish any trade routes and build trading posts, which is a very common way of getting points. So that's going to suck a little bit. I can't really take Japan during a dark age. Maybe I can. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. But it really doesn't look like it. 
Oh, okay. While the Colosseum stands. Cool. Boosted staff. Three era points. I need another three. So. Hmm. Uh, we want a harbor here, I imagine. Um, yeah, here is fine. Actually, you could build it here. Get a plus three. The lake is not useful for anything. And uh, yeah, guess adjacency from the entertainment complex could eventually give adjacency. Get adjacency from a campus over there. So not a terrible idea overall. Yeah, we can do that. I don't have a very good capital here. It's not a very good city. Overall, this is not awesome land for peaceful expansion, you know. But well, at least we have several luxuries. So happiness, yeah, happiness is fine. The Colosseum really does its job. Um, we're going to start buying granaries very soon. Okay, we can still do the Temple of Artemis. Are you kidding me? Yeah, screw that. I want to try to do that. Um, how much is it for the lighthouse? 480. Yeah, that's too much. I don't have that kind of money. Could get a trade route here, you know, to get the Temple of Artemis a bit faster and then just um, get the points from the Temple of Artemis. Basically, that's the three points I need. But I'm not going to get them soon enough. We have only seven turns. So I need to somehow meet some more people. I don't know exactly how. Mm, yeah, not gonna be easy. I could actually enter the Dark Age, that's gonna suck. But well, we'll we'll play around it if, if it happens. We'll find a way to play around it. Builder or heavy chariot? Let's get one more heavy chariot, because why not? <coughs> We're going to do this course over here. Yep, it's fine. That's wh we're going to think about how much it is to... Uh, 380 to upgrade the course. 380. I might actually want to save and get those 380 to upgrade. Let's do this, let's do that. Fine. Let's do that. Let's go here. Let's go there. Mm, I guess this guy can approach, because why not? And we can do this. Okay, that works. This guy waits here, these people, they all wait here, and Sid waits here, this guy waits there. Uh, we want him to fight chariots, basically, because he's an impi, so, you know, anti-cavalry. <coughs> Sorry about that. Have a little bit of a cough. So, we destroyed a bunch of Japanese units and they didn't kill any of our units. So, so far so good. Okay, let's do this. Let's do that. I guess we should be attacking this fellow, but he's too far. So we'll do this. Um. I would love to kill that fellow over here. Let's wait there. Um, uh, uh -huh. How much? We said 380. That's another two turns and a half, kind of. Pretty much three turns. Let's upgrade this guy. Yeah, that's fine. MP course could go here, but I prefer if the 
if this guy approaches you know that's gonna make it easier to kill him wait and you wait okay we we will need i'm thinking that we will need um siege tower maybe okay this fella can wait for now this fella can approach then wait okay we need to move some people away from the road so everybody else can join the fun <coughs> So, what well, luxury for two basically, because this is very little money. I don't think you want to put. Yeah, no. Oh, now you won't accept anything. That's interesting. So, I'm going to go with no. Yeah, I know. I really don't want to help Trajan uh, because Rome is already doing very well. I don't want them to be doing even better. Oh, nice. That's one era point, and actually, the new government will give me another era point. So that's nice. This counts on all Univad raids for sure. We are going to be upgrading all of our archers with that policy. Culture and science from international trade routes. We have a couple of them only. Two gold from every trade route. We have again only two. That's four gold, so I guess it's better than nothing. Uh, two extractions. I mean, sure, why not? We are be getting a builder right now. So this could be useful right now okay boosted castles and got two points from that and yay we barely got there normal age five turns away awesome stuff thanks to the new government i forgot about the fact that i was about to get a new government you know so cool yeah that really saved us um Okay, what are we going to do now? Can we get more governors? With recorded history, we can get more governor stuff. Uh, we should definitely go for drama and poetry. Um, mysticism gives us an envoy, which we do not need. I need to get drama and poetry because eventually I'm going to be needing some culture. I could go here. For sure. But I'm um, thinking about basically nationalism. So what is needed to get there? Human needs, diplomatic service, the alignment, guilds, civil service. Yeah, recorded history is totally needed to get there. So civil service gives us alliances, which we are probably not going to get. This is not too bad when you're building a bunch of units. Okay, anyway, let's go to recorded history first and then we are going to think about the rest. Which order we're going to get, I'm not 100% sure, so... Okay... So let's see, we want to do this. We want to go here. Yeah, we want to attack with a promoted archer for sure. This guy wants to do this. This is major victory with the impis. Hey! Plus two era score because one of my great generals has overseen their first victorious offensive. Oh yeah, right, because uh, the, the impis are actually medieval, right? Like, I forgot about that. Okay, wait, are they? Yeah, they are, they are medieval. Okay, so I'll see this actually giving me more strength here. Awesome, cool, yeah, I like it. We are going to heal for now. Yeah, you are going to approach somehow. 
Uh, boom, 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 boom. This guy here. Okay, wait there. We're going to come here and upgrade. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. So let me think about this. This guy could go back and upgrade. And with that, we're going to be taking a couple of crossbows. So that's nice. We are taking our battery ram. I'll see this coming. Yeah, that's that's all good. Okay, this guy's waiting, and I think we are fine. Temple of Artemis will just give me a bunch of you know like three happiness points in Ulundi, so uh, why not? Uh, I cannot believe at this point in the game the AI still have not built the Temple of Artemis. It's, it's just so weird. I lost Petra uh, like twenty turns ago, and the Temple of Artemis is still there just absurd okay so I'm, I'm tired of using this guy as an explorer he's a builder uh, he has one action left uh, this city could totally use another action this is fishing boats already yeah um so this is what here we need two actions one chop and one build the mine which we cannot get right now And here we could also use two actions there. So we're definitely going to want another builder here. Okay. Okay, so for now we're going to chop this one. We are getting another builder, right? Yeah. One here in five turns. Okay. That's good. Oh, this guy is happy to give me iron for some of my shit. And I'm going to, this is not a good trade, but I'm going to accept it because Gilgamesh is doing like crap and I could totally use the iron because now I'm going to stirrups and with the iron I can upgrade these guys and that's going to be awesome actually. <coughs> yeah, that's going to be really good. So um, let's kill here. There you go. Cool. You're going back because you're going to be upgraded. You're going ahead and a little bit more. You're going ahead and then you're going to upgrade to combat against melee units because uh, pikemen are very weak against melee units. Okay, we are getting here. This is so good. This guy could totally heal a little bit. Seriously, I cannot like. Okay, I already used one movement, I guess that's the reason why this guy comes back. This guy goes there and then waits. Okay, so we are on our campaign against Japan. We took a lot of their units. Uh, it seems like, like there is a real difference there. Uh, we are going to make a market. I would like to purchase a monument here, but the thing is we will need the money to upgrade units and so domination 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 military strength 900 we have 444 oh we have three armored players so that's interesting that's going to be good for the next era to get three extra points okay 170 so they have less than half of what we have already so that killing of units was very very good this archer, this archer, this archer, this archer. Who's going back to upgrade? This guy is going back actually to upgrade as well. First things first, though. Sumeria so is trading with Spain. Okay, so Spain is Between in the, the game. Stirrup and the ground. How many cities do you have left after your war with Rome? Still four. Okay. So he didn't lose any more cities. That's good. Yeah, let's do this first. And then we're going to use the upgrade to heal, obviously. Um, printing for the Forbidden City. I mean, I always like having the Forbidden City, but in this game we could just conquer it. Cartography to get a caravel and meet everybody else. Probably yes. I want to say yes here. 
I did not boost ship building. I don't need to really. Yeah, let's go cartography to meet everybody else. That's a good idea. Uh, there you go. Boom. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Let's advance with this guy and this guy. And this guy. This guy comes here. This guy waits for now. Okay, that policy with half the price for upgrading units, that's super useful right now. I'm really getting the most out of it. So here we need a unit there and a unit here. That's that's really all we need when it comes to melee units in Osaka. So let's uh, slowly approach the city. Let's remember El Cid is actually helping this impi, he's making it stronger. So the idea here is that the chariot is going to go from the south. I'm not in bankruptcy, what are you talking about Trajan? You just told me I'm I'm having debt, I don't have any debt. So History Valeta is going is the of for... That people have decided to agree upon. This. I could get this, but I'm about to get a builder, and I want him to have extra actions, so maybe not. This guy could even uh, get a builder. See now, guess me what? More faith? Yeah, no. Yeah, but he's very far from the people who actually need the builder. So maybe not. This could be a good spot for an Ikanda. But again, not right now. <coughs> Government plus um, I'm eventually going to have to build this <coughs> but I could just do it in a Japanese city to get more loyalty that would be fun actually I think this guy will just keep building units or maybe a water mill Yeah, I'm thinking maybe water meal. Let's do this. And that. Okay, we got a. Uh, I think Jerusalem wanted me to build uh, some of that stuff. Can I still get shit with faith? I can get builders with faith, so let's do it like here, here, I guess. Yeah, cool. Oh, I can get even more cocoa, that's interesting. Anyways, we are going on our way to nationalism. And so... Boost this, get a city to 10. Am I going to get that? Um, uh, it's gonna take a while. Maybe I don't want to wait for that to happen. I'm just going straight up. Yeah, I'm just going straight up. I'm keeping mysticism there as for a quick revolution. I usually do this. I keep mysticism here, and if at some point I need a quick revolution, one turn away, I just go for it. Guilds build two markets. Okay, this could actually happen. Have an alliance is not gonna happen, <laughs> absolutely not. Three great people, I don't know. I don't know, maybe. I mean, I should probably be about to get some great admiral at some point. No, there's a guy here with 11 points. Okay, forget about the great admiral for, for now. Um, I'm, I'm closer actually to getting three great generals than anything else. Mm. <coughs> Great Merchant definitely not. I still don't have any industrial zones. That is something that we should be working on actually. Um, and uh, Candy. What are you doing Candy? You could chop this and uh, yeah but maybe not right now. Maybe a unit.
how many turns for a night course? 15. That is like a lot, but whatever. So I can use the iron that I'm paying for, you know. Uh, this guy is gonna get a harbor, I think. I could get a nice campus here. That is a plus two, yeah, plus two. Um, yeah. But I think I need more trade routes. Really? What do you think? Oh, well, I do need science, though. Nah, let's go. Let's go trade routes. You can never go too wrong with trade routes, you know? They're always useful, always nice. Okay, I can go here. Then he attacks me, but I go there to avoid him. I move around the whole thing and I get here. No, I think I can go one, two, three. Yeah. I can do it without getting attacked. This guy is healing. This guy is approaching. This guy is approaching. This archer, I think, will come here. You go here. We can do one, two, right? Like, get there in one turn. Yeah, I can get there in one turn. That's fine. Okay, good. You wait. You wait. Night course. Okay, how far can these guys get? Not as far as I thought. Okay. They will eventually. It's just a matter of time. This guy can wait here. And then we could change this and I can upgrade that guy and then in ten turns I will have another uh what am I doing here? <coughs> no. Uh, come on. I want to get this and then change it to all right, close the unit. Okay, there you go. This menu just has too many options. Finally, 19 10 turns. That is a little bit better. All right, this guy approaches here, then he does this. Okay, and that's full healing, so nice. Uh, nope, we're going to chop this. Cool. Lighthouse it is. Good stuff. And so medieval era is about to be over. We're entering a normal age, but that's that's gonna be enough to take care of Japan. Uh, unless they enter a golden age, which uh, seems unlikely. I don't think they finished any wonders uh, during this era. Yeah. No, everything is Trajan. Trajan is doing just too well. But lucky for me, he's not my next victim. Uh, I still have a bunch of guys I can attack before him, so we are fine on that area. Okay, let me think about how am I going to do this. Oh, Trajan is already here, so that's interesting. Let's go here. Is this a hill? Yeah, it is a hill, so I think Osaka cannot really attack me, but they have a pikeman here. Ooh, that's going to be a problem from for my chariot. Okay, I think next turn... Mm -hmm. I'm going to save the promotion for later. This, this guy comes here. I want to save this promotion to heal later when the city bombards me. Mm -hmm. That's very good. You have to wait for now. 
190. That is pretty expensive. Okay. 190. Okay, I have to wait a few turns over there. And this guy will just wait here, I think. Siege Tower, the only unit I'm producing right now, apart from this knight. But that's fine. It's not like Japan has so many units, it's just that they have a pikeman right here. <laughs> that's a bit annoying, but I can work around it. Not a big deal, really, if you think about it. Do we want to take that granary? I mean, yeah, no, housing is not so bad right now. Let's go for that. Yeah, next turn. Yeah, shit, I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, the city center can attack me. Wait, what, what do you mean with this? Is this on a hill? Yes, it is. Well, that sucks big time. Okay. Okay, so if I go here, they can attack me on this turn, but if the Roman knight doesn't move, they can attack me later. Ah, shit. That's a big problem, isn't it? I'll have to go here, but then they can bombard me. How, how many points do I have? 23. Okay, there is a very high chance that this guy dies because he could get bombarded by the city, which I thought was was not the case. So, anyway, we're going to think about how to save this heavy chariot uh, on the next video, I think, because this one was long enough. Anyway, we will find a way to take Osaka. It's just, it's just going to be a little bit harder than I thought, but... With the battering ram and this night course, I think we will be able to take this uh, bombardment down quickly. And that should be the end of it, really. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you very much for watching.